The University of California, San Francisco has a deep commitment to world-class science and at the same time both to the community and to patient care. And the Department of Psychiatry and the Langley Porter Psychiatric Institute I think really fully reflect that culture. We are um, a department that runs from basic science all the way to a deep commitment to patient care and to the community that we serve. We do everything from genomics and molecular science and systems neuroscience all the way to prevention and public psychiatry. Dr. Vinogradov's lab has really been a leader in thinking about how to use cognitive training approaches in schizophrenia. We find in our research that when we apply neuroplasticity-based cognitive training methods to people with schizophrenia, that we can improve cognitive functioning. We also find when we do neuroimaging studies that this kind of cognitive training actually leads to improvements in neural activation patterns in people with schizophrenia. In some of our studies, we've shown that these improvement in neural activation patterns when people finish training are correlated with improvements in real-world functioning when we study people six months later. Right now, we have medications and we have psychotherapy and psychosocial treatments. If this research continues to be successful, we believe that we're on the verge of developing a third treatment arm for serious psychiatric illness. For nearly 20 years, my laboratory has been studying serious neurodevelopmental disorders of childhood, including autism, as well as Tourette's syndrome. The focus of our lab is to identify genes contributing to these disorders. Right now, we can offer a genetic diagnosis to perhaps 15% of children who will come into the clinic um, presenting with symptoms of autism. That number is going to rise dramatically and very quickly. Our recent work has turned to trying to understand what the genes that we've discovered mean for the biology of autism. Uh, and we've recently been able to narrow in, in when and where in the brain a subset of genes involved in autism appear to be having their effect. And that provides us, again, very important clues about how to address or correct those difficulties. Dr. Ghazali's Neuroscape Lab is truly an extraordinary place in which they're using immersive virtual reality techniques in order both to understand the fundamental neurocircuitry underlying psychiatric illness and to develop new ways of, of treating those illnesses. This kind of environment is really a path to the future in psychiatry. The Department of Psychiatry at UCSF has a broad array of training programs. We are really committed to um, helping to uh, launch successful careers uh, in patient care, in research, and in education. One of the strengths of the UCSF Psychiatry Residency Training Program is our clinical training. Residents are able to tackle pretty much any clinical problem that comes their way because they've rotated through three very different sites, including a tertiary care hospital site at UCSF, a public and community site at San Francisco General Hospital, and a VA medical center. Residents really understand the system differences between these sites and how they can actually apply their therapeutic techniques that are specific to these different systems. We have a longitudinal curriculum in which residents see patients uh, starting as early as their intern year and continue working with them over the course of four years. Residents come to UCSF with a variety of interests. For those residents interested in research, our resident research training program create some dedicated time as early as their PGY-1 year, but really accelerating in their second, third, and fourth years for them to focus on independent scholarly work with the faculty member. UCSF in general, and our Department of Psychiatry in particular, are deeply committed to serving the community. Um, we are fortunate to have as partners the San Francisco VA Hospital and San Francisco General. All of our clinical research and training programs at the San Francisco VA Medical Center have a very close affiliation with the Department of Psychiatry at UCSF. A number of critical mental health issues face veterans today, including TBI, PTSD, substance use disorders, and mood disorders. We have active research programs in all of those areas, and the faculty who are carrying out that research at the San Francisco VA are also active faculty members in the Department of Psychiatry. The faculty at, at the Department of Psychiatry at the General are all faculty members at UCSF. In addition, um, we are a prime training site for the trainees at UCSF. It's a tremendous community experience for, uh, for those particularly interested in public psychiatry as San Francisco General provides care to underserved and largely minority populations. 
The Alliance Health Project is uh, the city's HIV mental health and LGBT mental health clinic. We provide HIV counseling and testing services to about 5,000 people a year here in San Francisco. And I think that's a pretty unusual um, kind, of, kind of service for most psychiatric facilities to provide. We feel strongly that our programs and our services have had a very positive effect on the uh, rate of HIV transmission here in San Francisco and that people do much better as a result of, of coming here and, and, and receiving care. We're very much interested in addressing other health disparities within the LGBT community. We are working both to provide a broad array of community services to meet people where they most need us and to help define what the best and most effective approaches are going to be in order to serve the community.